Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to our beginner series. So in this episode, we are going to see how to turn on screen recording on iPhone. If you're new to iPhone or iPad and wondering about how to record your screen so that, you know, people record it for different purposes. To give a walkthrough of a certain application to record some issues they're experiencing, to share it with your friends or colleagues and ask for the questions or to explain some features of their applications and so on. So along with how to use the screen recording feature that is built inside your iPhone and iPad I also like to explain some questions that people normally raise you know like how to record their phone calls using the screen recording feature we will see about that in the second half of the video the very first thing is in order to record your iPhone or iPad screen you need to enable the screen recording controls once you are in your home screen you need to swipe down from the top right corner to access the control center up to iOS 17, if you're using older devices and your device is not compatible with, you know, iOS 18 latest version, then to in order to enable the screen recording feature in control center, you need to navigate inside the settings app and then scroll a little bit and access the control center. Here you will see the list of options, the features that can be enabled on the control center. Right now with the iOS 18, Apple have moved all these features to the control center itself. So up to iOS 17, you will see the list of applications that can be enabled, the features that can be enabled for the control center. So simply select and unselect it by pressing on the prefix button plus or minus you know with each application and that will help you to enable the screen recording to the control center once you have tapped the plus icon prefix to the screen recording feature you can come back to the home screen and swipe down from the top right corner you will see the screen recording feature added as the last option you can of course rearrange the icons in the control center settings menu itself with the iOS 18 and later version let me first enable the DND mode so that I can you know know uh, avoid getting any notifications uh, simply from the control center uh, on iOS 18 and later version tap and hold and you will see the add a control option here so tap on it and uh, in the search controls you need to search for screen recording when you type you will see the list of applications and its associated features available for you to add it to the control center and simply tap on the screen recording and it will be added as the last option you can now of course drag and you know place it wherever you want that will be easy for you to you know access it in future so i'm going to leave it as the last icon simply tap on any empty space and uh, you know before starting to record your iphone screen or ipad screen the important thing you should know is simply by tapping here for you know with the three countdowns that you can see on the dynamic island the screen recording already started once you finished everything on the screen recording you know the purpose of recording your screen like it could be a gameplay or it could be any app walkthrough or if you want to record some you know uh, so settings iPhone or iPad settings functionalities that you want to teach to your parents or your friends you know you can simply do the screen recording and send them uh, it via iMessage or WhatsApp or any other convenient messenger application that you're using once the screen recording is completed simply tap here on the dynamic island and you know if it is a notch iPhone like like the iPhone that is then the screen recording controls will be visible on the top left where the time indicator is available simply tap on it and you will see similar menu and uh, press the stop button in order to stop the screen recording feature you know once it's done it will be automatically saved in your photos application as the last uh, video file you know the screen recorded file you can further share it right from the photos application we just saw how to turn on screen recording on iPhone and if you want to record microphone audio like if you are using any third-party microphone using the USB-C port or you know the lightning port you are using any third-party microphone through the Bluetooth you know the receiver has to be connected the iPhone and the transmitter can be you know with you so in such cases if you want to record the audio or even if you don't have anything if you have airpods or any wide microphone connected to your iphone you can straight away add voice input with your screen recording to do that you know to add microphone or audio to your screen recording on iphone and ipad long press tap and hold or long press on the screen recording and it will open the menu system so here you can turn on the microphone in order to record the audio along with your screen recording otherwise the video file the screen recording file will not have any audio content if this feature is turned off 
if you want to record any specific app or want to give permission to any specific app to record the screen for example when you have uh, the zoom call you want to share your screen then this option has to be selected if you're having a whatsapp video call and you like to share screen with the latest whatsapp updates they also enable that feature similar to the facetime you can share your screen with your friends or followers so in such cases you need to select this to give permission to the whatsapp in order to record your screen if you want to record audio along with you know your video calls or whatsapp audio calls it is not possible whenever you enable the voice call when you use the phone application the phone app api with a third party app or even the phone app the screen recording will not be able to capture the audio even if you have the microphone turn on and you have given full permission to the whatsapp it automatically restricts the phone app automatically restricts audio recording when the phone app is active so you need to understand that for privacy and security reasons apple don't allow you to record phone calls using the screen recording feature once ios 18 officially comes out we will have the recording feature the call recording feature for iphone you know with the notes application on certain models i have explained about it already in a recent episode i'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment if you like to know more details about ios call recording then you may check that video so this is how you turn on and turn off of screen recording on iPhone how you can record audio or microphone audio with your screen recording on iPhone and iPad and some of the things you can and cannot do I hope this video gave you a complete walkthrough about screen recording on your device on your new iPhone or iPad thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day